Would you trust the Labour Party with your kids? Labour MPs drank the transgender Kool-Aid. They are responsible for turning the trans debate toxic. They are responsible for encouraging this madness. Madness that was revealed by yesterday's cash reports have been nothing more than experimentation on vulnerable children by unhinged activists and medical professionals who many think should now face criminal prosecution. Here's Labour MP Nadia Whittam's reaction. She essentially said that trans children's health and well-being should not be a front in a toxic culture war. She got community noted for that, actually. It's not linked to a toxic culture war, it said. It is all about whether or not a radical ideology had gripped the NHS and was ruining kids' lives. But thank you, Nadia, for giving me the opportunity now to highlight how it was Labour MPs who were and are the toxic ones in this discussion. Step forward. Lloyd Russell Moyle, Labour MP for Brighton, Kemp Town, and the leader of the Socialist Campaign Group. Being unhinged, vile, threatening and disgusting towards a fellow MP who wanted to stand up against trans madness. Goodness me, that speech was probably one of the worst transphobic dog whistle speeches that I've heard in an awful long time. The idea of linking trans people with predators, frankly, is disgusting and you should be ashamed. But the reality of this is, this section 35 is the new Tories section 28. It is their continuation of a war against a group of people, their culture war, that they want to pursue. What about Labour MPs jeering their own colleague Rosie Duffield when she wanted to stand up for women's spaces? Flicks with the Equality Act and would have repercussions for women, for women across the UK. Does the secretary necessarily segregated by sex, such as domestic violence settings, changing rooms in prisons? And given the previous UQ, does he not understand how vitally important this is at the moment? What about MP Kate Osborne, barefaced lying about Kemi Badenoch? We are seeing, I would say, almost an epidemic of young gay children, young gay children being told that they are trans and being... Yes, OK. Well, what about that time that Labour MPs filibustered about ferrets to block a parliamentary debate on protecting biological sex for children? I, I thought um, it, I would take the opportunity, as it hasn't been taken many times uh, during this session of Parliament, to actually talk about ferrets a little more. On April the 2nd, National Ferret Day will be marked. The risk of rabies from illegally imported ferrets. And Ferrets, ironically, absolutely stink. And so has Keir Starmer's attitude towards women, helping to push this trans madness even more. Nick, I'm not... I don't think we can conduct this debate with, you know... Sorry, have I, I get offended this, you in some No, 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 it's just... Uh, no, 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 I just... And now here comes the utterly shameless shadow Home Secretary Yvette Cooper taking the high ground now on this report. Well, I hope that this report really is a watershed moment for the NHS, for NHS gender services, because this is... It, the, the report's clear. It's basically talking about evidence, focusing on evidence, focusing on children's welfare. And... Where were you, Yvette? Where were you when it mattered? Here's Labour Shadow Health Minister Wes Streeting welcoming the report. If you'd asked me a few years ago uh, on this topic, I would have said... Trans men are men, trans women are women, some people are trans, get over it, let's move on. This is, this is all blown out portion. People right. were trying to raise the facts. Do you regret it? I think we've got to absolutely take the criticism on the chin. And... Well, it's all too little too late, isn't it? The fact is, if it wasn't for the Tories, there wouldn't be an attempt to stop social transitioning against parents' wishes in schools. There would be little to no opposition to male rapists in women's prisons, to hairy blokes in women's changing rooms. There would have been no cash report, would there? Kids would still be mutilated. The Tavistock would still be a thing. You can bet your bottom dollar that Labour wouldn't have done a thing. Let's get the thoughts of my panel this evening. I am joined by GB News presenter Nana Aquir, founding chairman of Global Britain UK, Aman Bagal, and also ex-Labour advisor Matthew Laza. Nana, can you trust Labour with your kids? Oh, well, I mean, they have shown themselves to be ridiculous. I mean, Keir Starmer, I, I can't get over that one when he was, when he was asked about whether women have a PNC. He goes, well, uh, uh, I don't know what he was doing with his hands. But this is something that my six-year-old 
could tell you the difference between a man and a woman and has no problem saying that. I don't understand why they struggled with it um, so much. But I think it's interesting that now people like Wes Treating are coming out and trying to garner favour mm. because they've realised that, frankly, the cash report, which I'm so glad has come back again and has empowered people to accept and acknowledge that a biological man is a biological man, a woman is a woman, a bi biological woman is a woman, a woman can never be a man, yeah. a man can never be a woman. Somebody who thinks that is suffering from something and whatever that is... How dare Labour MPs and people associated with him now come out and start saying, the most important thing is uh, that we have to remove the toxicity from this debate. Excuse me, you're the ones ranting and raving yeah. about transfers, trying to cost people their jobs, trying mm. to cost people their livelihoods, trying to take everything from them, am I? Mm. Well, look, I think I agree with you, Nana. Uh, look, Labour and the left love a good picket line, mm. right? Their radar, their political radar is always focusing on finding full outrage, div driving division and finding outrage where there isn't actually any. Look, the vast majority of people in the UK, they are pretty happy to let people be, OK? Mm. But Labour, I mean, West Streeting, Keir Starmer can't work out what a woman is. I mean, at the end of the day, this is, <laughs> this is an affront to women, to womanhood, mm. to the very idea of being a woman. That's what this is. All right, uh, Matthew, you know, I, I look at this now and I just think if it had been a Labour government in all of this time, there would have been no real pushback to social transitioning in schools. The cash report almost definitely would never have I happened. Don't know, I, there's no happened. evidence that the cash report wouldn't have happened at all. Labour supported the cash report uh, all the way along. Look... Who the, commissioned it? The, well, the, gov the, 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 the government. It, wasn't it? Yes, but the government... because we're not in that would have happened under a Labour government? Yes, really? absolutely. We're really? not in government. But, look, well, oh, no, uh, uh, look, on the... I mean, Patrick, I think saying that you can't trust Labour with your kids is actually pretty offensive. Uh, both to the Labour Party and to the 40-plus um, uh, percent of people in this country who say that they're going to vote Labour at the next election. I mean, I think what is absolutely clear is that the, the trans debate is too, it has been too toxic and it has been wrong that people have been closed down. I, I'm, I'm going to say quite clearly, I think that... Uh, uh, the, I always get his name wrong, Lloyd Russell Moyle, mm. uh, who is the MP for Power for Brighton, uh, was uh, unhinged there and his behaviour was utterly inappropriate uh, and so did the majority of Labour MPs. West Streeting, who used to work for Stonewall, has been absolutely clear that as... The, as as he's, he, he's been on a journey about how the debate is handled. What about because the which... treatment of Rosie Duffield? Exactly. Yeah. Scared exactly. to go to her own party conference because she dared to say exactly. that only women have a certain... Well, I think that's partly because there were campaigners but, at the no, conference, no, no, not no. Labour people at the conference. No, but it was. It was, it was the Labour well, Party. Look, and she way. spoke about it. Exactly. I mean, look... Well, she's just been... She's, she, the, the disciplinary this procedures is, against her have just been dropped this, for things that she did with, about, against what, other this colleagues. This is yeah. nothing but another U-turn from Labour. No, it's Try it at all. I'll tell you... Look, let me explain. Look, Labour Party is made up of fringe elements. Mm. That's what it is. That's absolute rubbish. No, it's not. It no. is. The Labour Party speaks for the majority of British people. No, but you, we just no, had no, 20 no, minutes attacking the Labour Party. The Labour Party has a, a, a screeching U-turn from West Streeting on, mm. on, on the trans debate. It's they have had a screeching U-turn on the pride we should all show to the union flag. The Labour Party has... No, an that's absolutely offensive. That, that's, that's look, I mean, I can, I can show you pictures of Labour conferences going back 50 years that have got the union flag in the minutes on the party let's membership card. Say Labour's not now. patriotic. Okay. It's ludicrous. Right, stop. Let's so why on the, the debate on, on the, leaflets? On, oh, on oh, the specific oh, oh. issue, Wes has not done a U-turn on his policy as Shadow Health Secretary. Wes Streeting, who I've known for 20-odd years, 25 years, mm -hmm. was the president of the NUS, uh, the National Union of Students, mm -hmm. which is a very different kettle of fish to being a Labour MP. You've got different pressure pressures on you, etc., Oh. And he has said that the posters... And he wasn't in charge of Stonewall. He worked for <laughs> Stonewall. Um, and he thinks that the, the, their use of the phrase get over it, for saying some people are trans, get over it, was a, was a, was a silly well, blunt well, poster. Well, well, you know, you've got Labour MPs now just refusing to accept the result of this. You know, Nadia... She doesn't... I mean, I, look, again, she's not from my wing of the party, and often I disagree well, with Nadia Whitmore. What she says... I told you that Labour is fragmented and now... It, it isn't fragmented on it at all. It's, it's united. Well, well, not, because, not, because we all come from different not, traditions. Not, I mean, you know, there's a different positions within all parties, especially the Tories. Yeah. What Nadia Whitmore has said is that yesterday her thoughts were with the trans community. Well, and we must remember that the trans well, community well, suffer well, unduly from hate crime, from suicide and from mental look, health issues. Is, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't get, back the where, CAS report. Where did you get, yeah. I don't, that your, your information about the trans community is suffering more than other communities. All the statistics show women, that. Well, let's compare the trans community to women. Women, women. women yes. suffer more exactly. than the trans community. Look, I mean, as far as West Treating is concerned, I think he's still stuck in his student activist taste. Not at all. He is. Look, he, this is the same man who, if years ago, apologised for sending these violent, abusive tweets oh, as a goodness. student activist. Do you remember that? I remember that. I think he's still stuck in his student activist. Look, activity. if Wes wasn't affected, the Tories wouldn't be trying to come for him because they know he's one of our most effective spokespeople. Well, he's just done a massive U-turn and said that, uh, you know, we need to get over the fact that well, he thought that a trans woman is a woman.
I, I just, I just can't help but feel. You know, you've got the likes of Yvette Cooper out there saying, "Now, look, I really hope now this is, this is going to." And you know, facts are, are really put forward. For I don't remember Yvette mm. Cooper really speaking out about this kind of stuff before. It's like they're hiding behind this report now. now. Well, they now realise that this report won't really back up some of their sort of so-called narrative towards uh, biological women yeah. who make up over 50% of the population. And they realise now they need to garner our support because Keir Starmer is, ha will not have a dead cert of a win, even though he probably will win, but how well good that will be. But I just think that, you know, it's time for people to start telling the truth and telling these people, look, a trans woman is a biological man. A woman is a woman. A biological I, woman is a woman. And yeah. for anybody to say anything and different... I think that's real... somebody who's a leader of a party. And you know what? Somebody who's representing a political party. And you know what, Nana? I, th I think Labour are trying finally to become mainstream and say, you know what? Most people... Is agree with what you just said. Well, of course, it's quite straight. They've forward. had to be nudged along the way, though, Matthew. They've really had to be nudged ages. along the way. Go Look, on. I think I think uh, we must also forget a sight in this. this. The CAS report is about services for under 18s. There are people who transition, and they should be shown uh, support and, and given rights, which is what has happened for 25 years under under How many both Labour parties. MPs were really crying out about the Tavistock Clinic. Mm. Uh, not enough MPs of any party were crying out about the Tavistock Clinic. Didn't Labour back at the SNP as well with the Gender Recognition Reform Bill as well? I mean, well, Labour's absolutely easier. clear. It does but not he, believe in. In self well, UK Labour self doesn't believe in, 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 in gender self-ID, and that is the very clear policy. Well, people, people, by Keir. people can make their own minds up, can't they, as to mm. whether or not children, vulnerable children, the CAS report, again, may I remind everybody, did identify that neurodiverse children, often with other situations okay. going on, like autism and other different things as well, had essentially been pushed in a direction. People can make their own minds up as to whether or not a Labour government would have done anything about that. Matthew thinks they would have done. No doubt West Streeting himself would vehemently say that he would have done. 